Hello, my beautiful tribe. Um, this is for the flighty Aquarians. Um, I assume that a couple of the comments, I know there were some polite ones, but I assume a couple of the comments with where it's Aquarius with five question marks are people that don't know me very well. Because during the time of Aquarius, my dog was dying. I was trying to get myself planned and ready to come to Spain. And then Teddy died and I was grieving. So I'm sorry if I wasn't there for you. Just a little dig at the ones who I had to delete because you were so rude. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I do as much as I can when I can. For those that have just joined me that don't know anything about me, I struggle with um, ME and fibromyalgia. And so I'm not the normal fit person that can be here 24 seven. I try and do what I can when I can. Um, I'm still not very well now, but I'm doing this um, because I want to, and it keeps me focused rather than me go down a rabbit hole. So, Aquarians, my flighty little unpredictable peeps. This is for the people that politely asked where it was, because I missed it out and went straight to Pisces. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a mini gypsy reading for you. And today you're going to have these. Just don't look at that first line. Look at Radley Valentine. I might just start scribbling that out, actually. Shall I do it now? For those of you who don't know anything about Doreen Virtue, Google it. <laughs> For those of you that do, you'll know why I'm scribbling a name out. Feeling a bit rebellious today. This is gonna be the biggest Google search of Doreen Virtue ever since she stomped around like a little peacock during her day. <laughs> How dare she set a light to her cards. What an absolute disgrace. Right, okay, darling, so let's have a look. So I've got three out for you. There's number four. And there's number five. Let's have a little look, my beautiful Claire, and see what we've had for you and what we've got for you coming up. Um, night of fire. So something's happened. Um, I'm I'm going to be doing it for now, okay? Rather than go back to your birthday time. But this is this is in the past. So there was something that took place that required you to just get on it and go for it, okay? Because you've got the night of fire, the night of wands. So this could have either been a catastrophe or it could have been an opportunity, but it was something that you had to jump on really quickly in the past, okay? Um, now, you can be quite unpredictable and spontaneous, which is beautiful in its own right. So some of you will find out, jumped on an opportunity or started taking on something and working really hard towards it, and I'll find out in the next card um, if it's been worth it. Does that make sense? This is towards um, your goals, your desires, your dreams. Um, it's all about something you've gone, oh my God, I've got to get on this now, okay? Which you're very good at doing. You're very good at doing that, okay? You flow and you go magnificently. Sometimes you can go a bit too far though. So let's see what happens with that card next to it. Perfect. So whatever you did, this is the Ten of Swords. So this is the end of a difficult situation, right? Some of you, sometimes this can also um, go to um, things like perhaps addiction. It could be a lifestyle choice. It could be something that you thought, that's it, I've had enough now, I'm not doing it anymore. Do you know what I mean? I've just, I've done, done so much now, enough's enough. I can't do this anymore. And you've completely changed your lifestyle to get a better way forward, a better lifestyle, a better um, choice of friends, a better body, a better mindset. Whatever it was that you endeavoured to take on board, it's worth the investment. So I, I think what, the reason why this has come up is because um, some of you may be still going through that change and thinking, really? Because you do get bored as well, don't you? You like things to change. You like to fly and you're very flighty. And so I feel that this um, might be for, for some people to say, hang on in there. You know, hang on in there. 
because it's coming to an end. Whatever the difficulty is trying to get to where you're going. Um, you know, some of you may have even changed your relationship because this can also mean betrayal and people stabbing you in the back or someone really giving you a tough time. But um, I'm kind of feeling that this is well worth the change that you've taken on board. This could be last year. It could even be last week. OK, the past is is all different because this is generic reading for like thousands of you. Um, but for some reason, it tends to hit on the spot for everybody who watches it, which is incredible. So um, with this card, I feel like it's definitely worth it because it's going to end that era that you're trying to get rid of, whether it's a work environment, personal, whatever it is, whatever you did to make that change, it's so worth it, trust me. And if you're thinking about doing it, do that as well. Now, the High Priestess, look, you, you've you got to, the, this. I always see this as the advice card when I'm in the middle of something, right? And so you've got to use your intuition now. Now, I... When anything ever comes to me, let's just try and do a little exercise here for you. Right, just close your eyes for me, just humour me. And cross watchers or whoever's watching, just humour me, right? Just close your eyes. And imagine that someone has just walked into the room, right? Now, just as, before you do that, actually, just feel your body right now. Feel how your limbs feel, how your tummy feels, how your whole being feels, right? This is a lesson in intuition for anybody, to be fair. <clears throat> it's really simple. Just have a couple of breaths. Close your eyes, just relax, right? Now, just feel how everything feels. It's pretty much neutral because you're waiting to hear what I'm going to say to you, all right? So just imagine whether you can create that visualization or just try and imagine it in any way, okay? You don't have to see it, just feel it. Just imagine someone walking into the room now holding the most gorgeous, beautiful, fluffy puppy you've ever seen in your life. <coughs> it's got the biggest doe eyes. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got that little fat little belly that puppies have. And he's looking at you with these big, beautiful eyes and she's handing over saying, do you want to cuddle? All right? So you take that puppy and you just let it rest on your on your belly, on your chest, and you're stroking it and you can hear its tiny little breathing and it's snuggling into you. Isn't that just the most loveliest, gorgeous thought ever? Obviously, unless you don't like puppies. <laughs> it could be a kitten then. But it's just, oh my God, look, you're just cuddling it. It's all warm and snuggling into you, doing a little little whimpery gorgeous little puppy thing and you're just sitting there going oh my god this is so lovely All right just imagine that how lovely and therapeutic and cute and exciting because it's a new life and it's this beautiful little puppy and empaths will feel the love and need to just make it feel safe it's a beautiful feeling in it all right let's so just think of that Oh, it's so cute and sweet. That little coffee breath that puppies have. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, they're just so sweet and soft. Okay, just feel that, what that feels like. I bet you're smiling. I bet you've even got a smile on your face without even thinking about it. Just feel a bit more relaxed. Just feel like a yummy feeling inside. Bless, beautiful little puppy, nice little kitten, whatever it is. Perhaps you're even remembering your own little puppy or kitten. Right now, snap that shut. Close it down. Imagine you're sw you're flicking a switch off, and everything's dark. And then you turn it back on again. And you're just sitting there, back in that normal state. You're just sitting on a chair in an empty room, nothing there. Listening to my voice, absolutely nothing there. Regauge how you're feeling now. Just normal, no. Um, stimulation no thought processes nothing giving you any subconscious energy nothing at all you're just listening to me waiting for what i'm going to show you now all right okay so then someone walks there's a door to your right of this room all right you feel someone coming towards you and they've got a but a bag right and they start peeling this bag down and it's full of rotten throat there's maggots in it it's stinking there's mold everywhere it's been there. They've just found a bin that's been there for ages. There's rotten fish bones in it. It's disgusting. 
and they're saying to you, you've got to put this on your lap. No, you know, yeah, you put it on your lap and they plonk this dirty, minging, rotten pile of, of fruit and food, right, stinking and writhing with all sorts of yuckiness onto your lap. Now, conscious, subconsciously, you may feel that even your expressions and your, you might be, your eyes might be clinching a bit. Mm. You know, you might be, your, your face might go into a grimace. You might tighten your face up in disgust. Right, you feel a bit, ugh, and you might tighten in a, with a bit of tension, thinking of that, of maggots possibly going to come out of that bag, going to crawl over you. It stinks, it's uncomfortable, it's horrible. Just feel how your body reacts to that thought process. Just think. Dirty, stinking, rotten maggots, mould, black rot. Oh, that's one of my worst things. If I was a normal celebrity, I'd love to be on that. My God, oh, I'd love to be on that. I never will, but you know what I mean? Just imagine that. Ooh, that'd be my worst thing. You put spiders on me, you can do anything, but oh, rotten throat food, hell no. But it's horrible, isn't it? Oof. It might even make you start feeling a bit sick. You just don't know how sensitive you are to that imagery. All right? Now, bang, she takes it off of you, seals it up, and walks out the door, and you're now clear. Boof. So switch the light off, all dark, bang, switch it on again, and you've just got sunlight coming through a window. Everything's clear. The room is white, and you're just listening to my voice, completely devoid of any um, thought processes, imagination, stimulation. Nothing. Now, what you need to do is sit in your energy and compare the two and learn how they both feel. And that is a simple, very simple ex exercise. Open your eyes now. That is a very simple exercise on how things feel. It's that simple. And people's ego and thought processes get in the way. Right. So if you are given an opportunity or someone says something or does something or you meet someone and it feels like that rotten bag of fruit, that is your intuition giving you the biggest red flag of your life. If it feels cuddly like a soft puppy and a kitten without your thought process creating what you want it to be, that is a good thing. OK, you need to use your higher self you need to use your higher voice you need to use your intuition on the power of the higher priestess to gauge if everything's going right the people in your life the decisions you've made this is a time for if you've made a big change to just look back and check that everything's going the right way if there's anything that doesn't feel comfortable just readjust it it's as simple as that okay just readjust it You know, you're in the balance game here as well, to a certain extent. And I feel like, see, look, you've got all these air signs coming up for you as well. Yes, you. You're the air sign. You're the swords. So this is what I mean with this, right? If there's been heartbreak in the past and it's, again, it says you're moving on from this or you're going through it at the moment... It's acknowledging what you need to do intuitively to change that. Okay, you may be feeling down, a bit depressed, a bit um, not yourself, not um, wanting to play, feel unmotivated or someone's making you feel like that. Okay, so I feel like as I move along to this, because you've now got the three of swords, okay, it could be a loss, it could be what this is. This massive event that took place that made you have to take action. It could have been a loss, not necessarily just someone that's passed over. It could be a loss of relationship. I just feel there's been a massive upheaval that you need to feel your way through to see if you're taking the right steps to get to where you need to get. To serenity, to tranquility, to well-being, to an element of contentment. Because you've got the high priestess over overwhelming it all. It just feels like some of you may be sitting a lot in your thought process and that you um, perhaps need to kind of make more decisions that have happened from the past to move forward. Let's see what the next card is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, 
I just love it when a plan comes together. We've even got Jeff Vial there. I love her. She's so sexy. I can't wait for my angel cards for Jeff Vial. I've, the first one is just so sexy of her. Oh my good God. Anyway, I won't digress any longer. This is a card that's like the moon, okay? This is you feeling a sense of entrapment. I'm thinking, I think this is, um, I don't know if it is the moon. Yeah, I think this might be depicting the moon in these cards, right? Because it's a feeling of feeling trapped. It's a feeling of not being able to move on. You've created your own, some of you have perhaps created your own situation that isn't really true. It's just your belief system. I can't do this because he's doing that because she's doing that because and I can't move on because I can't do that. I can't, do you know what I mean? And I just said, before I pick the card up, some of you might be stuck in your own thought processes, your own ego, okay, about situations that are making you feel lost, okay? So, you really got to get in there. You've got to sit with yourself. You've got to get a soul journal. <laughs> Darren's using that as a notebook for his orders for Fifth Dimension. And notes, and notes on um, what the properties of crystals are. That is not what a soul journal is for. They're on Amazon if you want one, by the way. It's just sitting there, so I thought I'd do a shameless plug. Write in your soul journal. Do the visualisation I just that I just taught you. How does it feel? How does the person feel? How does the situation feel? What do you need to move on? Make plans. Joffael will help you manifest that. Call on Archangel Joffael. She will help you see the reality of the situation, your belief system, whether you are entrapping yourself because you are feeling that you don't want to go past your comfort zone, that you don't want to go past that safety net, or is it because you really can't physically move? If you can't physically move at the moment or make that movement, Right. right, what do I need to do to make that change? What do I need that I'm going to have to, that I will have to do it eventually? Joffael, can you show me? I call upon you, Joffael, to give me inspiration to manifest what I need to go forward. Get out of your head. That's your message. Get out of your head. Get into your intuition. It will serve you well. As I said, some of you are already dealing with this change or it's just literally here. But when you start analysing everything that is creating your upset or discord and you start identifying it and you start eradicating it or working on it for the greater good, I'm telling you, it's going to change your year. Because everything you put out to the universe, as I keep telling you, comes back a hundredfold. So if you say this isn't going to happen, I'm not going to move, I'm not going to do this, it won't. All right, then stay where you are. Actually, Joffel, I need you to help me manifest this. I'm asking the universe, I deserve this. Oh, do you, okay, what do you want? Yeah, well, it's not quite yet, but we can divinely time that in with this because that's for your growth. Cancer, sign of cancer. Hang on in there, okay? Grit your teeth, face any adversity and have the courage to move forward, discipline. Do not allow people to put you off. Grit to your teeth, whatever it is, whether it's, as I said, addiction, diet, person, relationship, job, living circumstances, whatever it is, grit to your teeth, stand your ground, face the adversities, make a choice, stick by it and go for it. Because you really will change your life. If you stay where you are, contemplating, thinking, worrying, you're not going to get anywhere. It's time for action and time for you to get out of your head. You can go for this. You're so strong in that. You're so spontaneous. Aquarius is so spontaneous. Go for it. So, my darlings, I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm not going to go on too long because I'm aware of my... I still sound a bit groggy, am I? Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. And let me know in the comments below if this made sense for you. Please go for it. You've got this.